Hi, this is Nathan Seidel with SparkX, the lab within SparkFun, here today to tell you about a project we've been working on for the past three months. This is Artemis, the world's first open source hardware BLE module running a Cortex M4F, running up to about 96 megahertz with a mega flash 384K of RAM and all sorts of fun stuff. What that means is that it can run TensorFlow, machine learning, and all sorts of voice recognition algorithms. Now, one of the challenges with the Apollo 3 is it's a great chip, but it's got a 0.5 millimeter pitch 81 ball BGA. To route that IC is pretty complex, it requires some sophisticated tools and some creative routing with some really high end PCB manufacturing. Now, we created the Artemis to rid you of all that craziness. We designed the back of the board, the pads on the back of the board, so that you can route this module with really simple two layer boards and 8 mil trace space routing. That means you can implement this module on your own design very easily. We've even got a handful of open source hardware designs today to get you started. A Cortex M4F is only as good as its software, and that's what has me really excited. If you're just getting started with hardware, pick up one of our carrier boards with this module on it. It's great, you can do all of the things you can do in Arduino, you can blink, you can do analog read, write, all the basic features that you expect from Arduino. You can get started with our quick system with over 50 boards. It's really a lot of fun at home. But what if you create something big? Something that people may want to buy in mass. This is where the traditional Arduino breaks down. The ATmega328 is great, but it's incredibly painful to go to scale with. With a BLE radio and extremely low power, the Artemis can power your most demanding designs. We're producing production volumes of the Artemis ready on tape and reel, available for SparkFun, as well as all your favorite component vendors. This is a modern architecture with modern debug tools and SDKs. And look at that. It's roughly the same size as the ATmega328. So you don't have to give up PCB real estate to implement a Cortex M4 app with BLE. It's incredible. You can upgrade your designs and um, have additional flash space, have additional power, all the things you would expect with a modern microcontroller. Today we're releasing engineering versions of the Artemis module. You'll see these without RF shields. It doesn't affect the performance at all. Uh, it just means that it cannot be FCC certified. So this module is in FCC testing right now. And in the coming weeks, uh, it will be fully certified and have an RF shield as well. If you want to play, the Artemis is awesome and easy to use. But if you dream big, the goddess of the moon will be right there with you.